Hello, Sagis. Let's do your mid April. So, we want to know what's coming towards you that you will be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it. We're also going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, uh, whether you're currently in touch with them or not, what's going on with them in their life, what they're dealing with that you are allowed to see for your highest good, and of course, how they are currently relating to you, um, especially emotionally. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius, for Sagittarius' highest good, please. Universe, what is coming towards Sagittarius? What is Sagittarius going to be dealing with? I feel extra over here. What is it with extras? Um... King of Wands, beautiful. So you're taking charge of your own life. You're taking action, even though you are confused. You have a lot of unanswered questions about what's going on in your life right now, what's going on around you. Uh, a lot of confusion, unanswered questions. Page of Wands. messages page of swords so you are confused because the information that's being uh, received by you is confusing uh you don't know who to trust or what sources to trust uh you're gonna have to go by your intuition so there's a lot of confusing information being released on purpose let's see the extra yeah nine of swords so you have a lot of worries on your mind right now. It's significant enough to disturb your sleep. Yeah, a lot of worries. Let me see clarification because we like details. The more details, the better. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. What is coming towards Sagittarius? What is Sagittarius dealing with and how to best handle it? So, you're very much introspective right now, trying to use your own wisdom to decipher truth from lies, to make best decision for yourself. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, some of you are dealing with a Pisces and Cancerian. You see Eight of Swords showing up here, so you are scared. You are overanalyzing and scared about the future, what's coming why? Why are you scared? Because you have too many unanswered questions. Look at this. The moon. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. Um, justice. Some of you are dealing with the Libra. So what's happening and unfolding right now that is has gotten you so concerned and confused is karmic. So this is karmic. This situation is unfolding how it's supposed to unfold for everybody's higher learning. Hmm. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Some of you may be dealing with Aries. Yeah, you see? So you feel, you know, you know that you can feel that there's some lies being released that is confusing you. It's not making sense. You're trying to make sense of what you, the information you've gathered so far, and it's not adding up to you, to your standards. You're also worried about your finances, your financial stability, your financial future. This also shows that you're missing your soulmate, whoever it is that you're thinking of while watching this video. You're missing them. In a love reading, this is a mutual energy, which means they're missing you as well. This person is missing you as well. Yeah, your main concern right now is your stability, your finances, your financial future, prosperity. So you're taking charge of your own life, Sagittarius. A lot of you have either high position or are successful business owners. And your main concern right now is your financial stability going into the future. Oh, 
let me see more clarification here. Um, especially on the Nine of Swords. You know, please step in, clarify the Nine of Swords on Sagittarius, please. So you're very discerning, very analytical, very careful, objective, like a judge, uh, before you make any decisions in your life, especially about money, finances. Again, look at this. Nine of Swords and Nine of Swords from two different decks. So you are very much concerned about what's going on around you. Um, it's disrupting your sleep. It's worrying you so much. You're waiting to see how things unfold. You can feel and you know and you sense that major change is coming. Major transformation is coming. Nevertheless, you're showing up here as very wise, using discernment, being very strategic um, with your life, with your decision-making and your finances. Let me see more on death. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm. So there's a lot of information that's being controlled and manipulated to confuse people so you're going to be have to be very wise and discerning being able to to be able to see for yourself what the truth is and what lies are uh, you already can sense it you already know you already know your intuition already tells you that when you're listening to lies it tells you that it doesn't feel right yeah, when you listen to the actual truth, uh, it feels organic. You feel right. Your energy feels right. So you know already. Let's see your soulmate, what it is that your soulmate is dealing with, no matter what sign or gender they are, and what they um facing in the life currently that you are allowed to see for your highest good. And we also need to see how the soulmate of yours is currently relating to you uh, at this time, especially emotionally. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. The soulmate of Sagittarius. How is the soulmate of Sagittarius doing? What is going on with the soulmate's life? What are they facing, dealing with? And how is the soulmate of Sagittarius currently relating to Sagittarius, especially emotionally? So I feel extras. Let me just get it. It got stuck. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so they very much isolating themselves, trying to make sense of what's going on in their life. Their main concern right now is their financial stability and health. Uh, I see one more extra. Ace of Wands. That's good. Ace of Wands is very good. All aces are good. Let me see what's going on with your soulmate. Justice. Some of you may be dealing with the Libra. Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, their main concern is financial stability, uh, financial situation, financial future. King of Swords. So you're dealing with somebody who is very discerning, very analytical, strategic. Yeah. So this person is very much aware uh, that there's something off going on around them that doesn't seem right nevertheless this person is finding their own inner peace no matter how much chaos is going on around them this person is able to make some sense of why it's going on um this person is trying to find happiness with their family members um ten of pentacles uh King of Swords, they're trying not to be emotionally distraught by what's going on in their life or around them. Uh, finding their own inner peace and joy. And here they are concerned about their financial future. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, they're trying to connect 
with the divine through prayer or meditation or both uh, and just take a break from life take a break from everybody uh, yeah they're trying to heal themselves emotionally uh, they have a lot of passion they're very talented um, they're good at whatever it is they do for a living their main concern right now is their financial stability going forward and their well-being, their health, their family members who they love, their financial stability. they very closed off emotionally, no matter what sign they are, showing up here as King of Swords with the Nine of Cups, meaning they're not cold or heartless. They're just very wise. They are trying to use their logic to make sense of what's going on around them and in their life instead of uh, using their feelings and panic. They're trying not to panic. They're trying to be very cautious. Um, this is beautiful, Nine of Cups. So this person is uh, has good spiritual awareness. Uh, they, they feel that whatever's going on that's chaotic uh, is going to be resolved yeah this is good let me see clarification what's going on with sagittarius soulmate wow so this person does love you king of cups but they're not telling you they're not telling you and with the justice card together it shows the two of you were together in other lifetimes so they're trying to figure out how to handle their life right now which path to take sort of speak uh, making wise financial decisions, um, yeah, planning for their financial future. They feel beat up and exhausted, but nevertheless, they are very strong. Uh, nine of Wands, they feel beat up by life circumstances, people, relationships, but they're very strong, resilient, not giving up. Yeah, concentrating on money, finances financial future, financial stability, also their well-being, their health. Yeah, they feel blocked, like they can't contact you. Uh, it's a stalemate energy of uh, being frozen towards you, meaning even though they love you uh, and they feel this love for you, but they are not communicating they're not reaching out to you and you're not reaching out to them. It's like a stalemate energy. Nobody's doing anything. Some of you may be dealing with um, Pisces and also um, Libra showing up here. So this person is very much withdrawing themselves, which this makes sense over here. Four of Swords with the Hangman. This person is just taking it easy, taking care of themselves, um, contemplating. Uh, yeah, this is good energy to have right now. You see, here it is, moon. Uh, so they have a lot of unanswered questions. But they're very strong. Whatever it is that's concerning them, uh, they're very strong. Yeah, so they feel and know that whatever's happening uh, is happening for a reason. Here is Wheel of Fortune. It's a karmic event, Wheel of Fortune with justice. So this also confirms another thing that the two of you were soulmates in other lifetimes together in romantic relationships. Here is a lion holding the sword of truth. So some of you may be dealing with the Leo. Let me clarify let me clarify these energies. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands on your soulmate. Ten of Cups. So this person is very resourceful, very wise in making financial decisions. Some of them are self-employed and successful at their business. Um, beautiful. So you guys are soulmates from other lifetimes. Here it is, the star. Some of you may be dealing with Aquarius. Um, they would like a new beginning with you. Let 
let me see more. They were drawn emotionally, very withdrawn emotionally, but being very strategic and wise. Yeah, you see, look at this. Four of Swords with Four of Swords from another deck. So this person is taking a chill, chill time, uh, just being very introspective, uh, just taking back, uh, just taking time to themselves, not really trying to deal with people. Again, Justice card from another deck. So they feel like something will happen between the two of you in the future, meaning where the two of you will reconnect. Very spiritual person. Here's psychic ability showing up on this person. Uh, high priestess, very spiritual, very family oriented. Ace of, and likes to be honest and, and tell the truth. So this person loves you. This person loves you, but this also clearly shows that you love this person, but you're not telling this person, you're holding back from telling them. Um, so both of you feel the same way about each other, but neither one of you is talking. So I don't know what's going to come out of that if neither one of you is willing to talk to the other and let them know how you feel. Somebody's going to have to start the conversation. Um interesting so we're going to go into the extended reading we're going to ask um not only about your soulmate but we're going to also ask about what's going on around you and them that's showing up in reading uh we're going to ask your soulmate's current long-term intentions plans for you anything that they are hiding from you whether on purpose or not but the universe feels you need to be aware of at this time for your highest good and at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle what's going on around you that showed up in the reading and also how to handle this soulmate connection at this time for your highest good, of course. So, Sagis, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Thank you so much, guys. Sending you big hugs.